Hello again, YouTubers. This is your host, Black Samurai 7. I just want to make a video in response to a video that I saw yesterday. And this is regarding another sick ass story regarding the race soldier cops. And so for this story here, there was an innocent, an innocent African American young woman. She was riding her bike home. She wanted to, she wanted to go to the store and buy a gift buy a gift for her father for Father's Day. And all of a sudden, what happened was that something happened that's going to that's gonna traumatize this young woman for the rest of her life. She was stopped by police, and they asked her, they asked her if she'd seen a man who um, supposedly raided a store with a, mach uh, with a machete. And she said, no, she declined. She declined that she seen the man. No, she did not see this man. And... And they were looking for him. And so what they did was they they slammed her on the ground. They beat her. They just straight up attacked this woman. This young woman who did nothing wrong. She did nothing wrong. And then someone out of the blue, she just came over there. Hey, hey, this is not the person. This ain't the person. And yet they still continued to beat her. They still continue to do it. So it seems to me these cops are just racist, savages. They're pussyfied, bitch-made punks. Each and every one of these officers involved in this. They even attacked her with canines. They even attacked her with those. That's just fucking crazy to me. Just watching this whole video angered the hell out of me. It really did. So, if you're watching this video to this young woman's family, I'm so sorry this happened to your, to your daughter. I'm so sorry this happened to her. And to the woman who was attacked. I'm very, very sorry this happened to you. You did not deserve that. You didn't deserve to be attacked like that. You were minding your own business. You're not bothering nobody. You're minding your own business, having a sip of water. And these goddamn savages had the nerve to bother you. That pisses me off. That these racists are out here. And you know what they are? They're freaking slave patrol. That's exactly who they are. And you know what? I'm going to say this. And I'm sure most of you people agree with me on what I'm about to say here about this subject. Is that slavery, slavery, even though it actually officially ended in 1865, slavery did not end. It didn't. Slavery evolved. It's now gotten worse up to the point of things like this happening to us. We're now under a slavery called police brutality. And that's sad. It's so fucking sad. That we as black people, we don't just, we need to get a fucking break from you assholes. We really need one. You need to leave us the hell alone. Leave us the hell alone and go harass somebody else. Even though harassment, harassment is a violation of company policy. It is. No matter what kind of harassment it is. Harassment is a, a, a violation of company policy. So you harassing people, you're breaking your own goddamn rules. So yeah. You go harass somebody, that's up to you. You want to go harass another black person, that's up to you. That's up to you. We have free will. Free will exists for a reason. We're all under control of the decisions that we're making with our lives. And this young woman right here, she just wanted to have a nice day of riding her bike. A nice day of riding her bike, and it got ruined by you race soldiers. You race soldiers need to go, go somewhere and find something better to do. And another thing that pissed me off about this is that the person they were looking for was a male. A male that's about a foot taller than this girl. And not only that, the person had a bald head. The person had a goatee. And oh my god, yo, this is crazy. This has got to be another, this is another sick ass story that I got to talk about on this channel. Oh my god. We need a break from you motherfuckers. We need a break. We need a break. You people need to go find something better to do. If you're not happy, if you're not happy what you're doing, don't be a police officer. If you're not happy with what's going on, don't be a police officer. Don't be one. Do not be a police officer. Go find another occupation. Go look for another go look for a job that you're happy with. Go do that. Instead of taking your anger out on something that ain't got nothing to do with your damn problems. And again, this is another story about people bringing people, bringing people into their problems who ain't got nothing to do with it. 
Go after the person involved in the situation. You should have went after that person involved in the robbery. Go after the person involved in the robbery. Don't bring people who ain't got nothing to do with it. If you want to ask questions, that's fine. But then you get your answer, you get your questions answered, just move on, move along, and go to the next person to ask a question. It's an investigation technique, asking questions. Asking questions is an investigation technique, and that's why you talk to people separately. That's why you do that. You don't just, just go cut the conclusions and just start beating people up. Damn, yo. And another, and this is another incident of people, of racists, acting like this. And you know what? This is exactly what's going to happen to you racist someday. This is what's going to happen. This is what you're doing. You're basically making a pillar of rocks. You're piling rocks. And sooner or later, that pile of rocks... It's going to fall, and it's going to fall really, really hard on you. It is. You don't want a pile of rocks falling on you. No one wants a pile of rocks falling on you. No one does. I certainly don't. I see a pile of rocks. That's my cue to run. That's my cue to run and get the hell out of there. Because I don't pile rocks. I don't want to put a pile of rocks. I want to put something else. I don't want to just pile things up. It's just crazy. Piling things up ain't going to help nobody. It's not. All this is just going to make it worse. And it seems to me you racists don't understand that. And you need help. And this is why you need help. You racists out there, you need help. You need to get some medical help and some professional help to realize that you're not in control of nobody except yourself. And I hope someday, someday you will understand that lesson. Now, that's all I got to say about this. Feel free to like, comment, and favorite my video. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. See you guys later.